Welcome back, Divine Man, Divine Woman, and welcome to the safe space dedicated to healing and learning more about oneself. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you have not already, and let's go straight into it. In the last chapter, I was talking about being afraid of our desires, our prayers, and I just want to dive into it more. As I still, I'm still sorting this out, okay? So, you're hearing this chapter, this is literally seconds after I recorded the last chapter. So, I just, I'm trying to be respectful of every, of everybody's time as we, you know. So, all right. I talked about the lions, tigers, and bears. And being afraid of things that actually make sense to be afraid of. And as I ponder that you know as I start to say the stuff that's been simmering in my brain for some days I do have to acknowledge that my, my soul has been talking to me I believe I said this in the last chapter but my soul has been talking to me and I'm and and, and it's like let me clarify this it's like <laughs> it's like my soul you ever just wanted something and you feel it in your soul right it's like my I know that my soul knows what it needs, what it wants, and it's talking to my intuition and it's telling my intuition, yo, like this is this is what's up. And I notice that certain things, I certain things that are gonna happen, I know ahead of time, and so I'm I have this gut feeling of something happening that is so aligned with my prayers with my desires and I'm like Ugh. you know circumstances are not the best things aren't looking the way that I think they should look and I know I know I know it's not about how you know I know I fucking know trust me I have I go back and forth in my head about this stuff a lot okay there's nothing you can tell me okay maybe there is something but for the most part a lot of these a lot of the basic stuff that people will tell me it's I've, I've had those conversations within my head um so you know it, it gets to the point where it's like I know my intuition I trust my intuition I am constantly working on developing my intuition, knowing myself, diving deeper into it. But then the question lies in what what do you do when your intuition tells you something that you don't really want to happen? What do you do when that gut feeling is pointing one way and you want to go the other way. What do you do when something you want so much starts coming your way and all you want to do is run the opposite way? Things don't look how they need to. Things don't look aligned and it's just like you're at a crossroads. Cause you're like, nah, this, this, no, this, no, 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 no. <laughs> and that gut feeling just says, I don't give a fuck what you do. This is going to happen. And it's not bad. It's just, can things look a little different? Can things be more aligned? Can they be a little better rather than, you know, I've, I'm put in a position where I feel like I'm begging for scraps. And that's not necessarily the case. This is just, I'm just expressing how I feel. Don't worry, I'm not begging for scraps. <laughs> so what do you do when you're put in a position where your intuition says one thing, but you say another? And I actually want to pull some cards on that. All right, before I read these cards... I, I do want to just share, you know, as far as tarot is concerned, that's, this is how I got into tarot. This is how I started reading more about tarot because there were certain questions that I would ask and I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would reach out to people that I felt were more spiritually inclined to be more 
uh, able to answer those questions. And a lot of people couldn't, or they weren't giving me the answers that I know I needed to hear. And so when I started reading tarot, I was able to get these hard questions answered. And so the question is, what should I do when my mind says one thing and my intuition says another? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Cups, Eight of Wands, King of Cups, and the Tower. And so this is literally, literally, literally explaining just from the bottom of the deck alone what I've been experiencing in life. The cards that actually came out were the Hanged, the Hanged One, the Eight of Swords, Strength card, the Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the, pen, the Queen of Pentacles. So... I'll actually write, I'll put the link of this deck in the description. I'm writing that down. Um, but this is the Modern Witch Tarot deck. And so, I'm not, this is literally explaining what I've been going through. The Hanged One talks about, all right, so you don't. You, you're not you're not agreeing with what we're telling you, right? You don't agree with what the spiritual realm is telling you is going to happen. I bet we're going to make sure that you understand what's going to happen. We're going to make sure that you understand this. Now, I notice, yes, we have free will, but at the same time, I'm noticing certain things, you know, as I develop more spiritually, certain things, spirit is like, okay, yeah, you have free will, you know, you you wanted to hear from us, right? Like you wanted to develop your intuition, intuition, and know more about us. So now we're telling you what's going on, and yes, you have free will. But regardless of what you choose, if you choose to do opposite of what is being told to you, you know, via your gut, you're, we're gonna put you in a position where you gotta, <laughs> you're gonna realize that the other option <laughs> was the right choice. And so yeah, so the hanged one talks about at least. At least that's what it's been for me. Let me say that. So then I get like, do I really have free will? <laughs> and, you know, saying that, I, I do. You know, I just, I realize with the free will that I have, I tend to choose the the hard route, right? They'd be like, are you going to do this the easy way or the hard way, right? You have choices. You can do it the easy way. You can do it the hard way. And for some fucking reason, I always choose the hard way, but that's a story for another day conditioning etc cetera, etc cetera, right you struggle now enjoy it later yeah so um that that might be a story for another day that might be a, another chapter i'll write that down too because i'm sure i'm not the only one all right so the hanged one talks about you don't you know like you don't you don't want to agree. You, you don't want to align with this. You don't want to just flow with this. All right, that we're going to put you in a position where you will understand why you have this specific gut feeling. And then Eight of Swords talks about being put in a position where you have to sit in those emotions and you have to just trust, right? Like, you're not gonna we're not gonna put you in a position where your mind gets tainted by anybody else so we're gonna put you in your feelings we're gonna put you in a position where you have to sit here and listen to what we say but in the midst of that you're gonna become stronger spiritually you're gonna become stronger mentally we're gonna put you in a position where you have to trust your intuition more and I kid you not, on this strength card, we have the lion. I tell y'all, I keep seeing these lions, these tigers, and these bears. So, I, you know, but we're going to put you in the position where those illusions, the illusions that are preventing you from listening to your gut feeling, we're going to put you in a position where you, you have to become more aligned with it. Which makes sense why that tower card is showing in the, in the under, at the bottom of the deck. Um, okay, so Eight of Pentacles, we're going to work on you. We're going to improve your mind. We're going to improve your, um, we're going to improve your alignment with what you desire. We're going to improve 
how you look at these things. We're going to put you in a position where you have to heal from the things that are not working, that are not allowing you to be more aligned. So basically what I'm getting is you're being put in a position where you have to understand why certain things are not working. Why are, you know, the power of manifestation, right? I'm noticing how when it comes to manifesting things, certain things are just popping up like that. But a few things are not popping up like that. And the question is why? So with that free will, being put in a position where you have to acknowledge, okay, remember, you made this choice. You chose to go the hard way. Let's show you why you chose to go the hard way. And let's make sure that we put your mentality in a way where you learn you don't have to struggle. You don't have to go the hard route. If there's an easier route that is more aligned to you, there's no need for you to avoid that. So with this Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant, you're being put in a position where we're going to pause you right here, which can make you feel stagnant and allow you to heal from those things that are preventing you from, you know, being more understanding that things can be easier. <laughs> Choosing to go the hard route each and every time that shows that there's some healing that still needs to be done. But by the end of this cycle, you're going to be more aligned with what is for you. You're going to be more aligned with who you are and who we see that you are so that you can call in what it is you desire. And then with the other cards that were under the deck, Six of Wands says you're being put in a position where with the Ten of Wands, the pain that you were experiencing, the burdens that you you were experiencing are being released, they're being transmuted, and they're being the stepping stones, the tools needed to help you thrive. Um, with that being said, I have had a few conversations over the past few days where a few of my friends and I have acknowledged that a lot of the challenges we experienced last year, they're making sense this year, right? So like the challenges with this 10 of wands we experienced last year, they serve as the pillars for the boundaries that we are using this year to step into what we want. Bet six of cups, this has been a journey, a journey from childhood. And as as you, when you pay attention to stuff that you want, you start to acknowledge messages and, and lessons that you may have not acknowledged if you were not, um, so how can I say this? Um, we pay more attention to the things that we want, right? So for me, I said, this is what I've, you know, what this prayer is something that I've had since I was a child, right? Since I was in my single digits. And so, because of that, it's there's certain things that I acknowledge more, that I pay attention to more within this prayer than I have with other things or things that I'm not really, I don't really pay attention to. And so, because I am more alert to this specific thing, it's being used by this by spirit, by God, the universe, whatever you believe in, to bring to my attention things that are not where they need to be right? And as I continue to do that work, that is when what I do want, it comes back around in a way where it it shows up as I need it to, if that makes sense. So it's like, you don't want to listen. I bet we going to, it's not a timeout or a consequence, but more so a journey. Um, this card did not come out, but I could see it. That I think it's the Eight of Wands, where you're like, not Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, when you're going on a journey. Like, I see it in my, I see it in my eyes, my mind's eye. It's, it's, you know, like you are putting everything you have worked for right there, and then you're going on the journey. Boom. Yeah, Eight of Cups. You leave, you you have your foundation set, but there's more for you to accomplish. So you put everything there in a way, and then you go out there to get what's missing. And so that's that's kind of like what this journey is about, you know, getting put in a position where we're going to clear the things that are not working. We're going to completely extinguish what has been holding you back 
And while we do that, after we do that, after you are able to see what we see, then yes, we're going to bring in that desire, that prayer, and we're going to see, we all are going to see if you have learned the lessons that you needed to learn to get, keep, and maintain what it is you have asked for. And if not, then we're going to go through a similar journey again. So hopefully, rather than you going through this journey again, you are taking the time to experience where you are in all its entirety to grab hold of what it is you desire at the right time. And so we can move forward. So that's that. Wow. Wow. I don't know about y'all, but that 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 is some stuff to process. Because for me, that puts the past few years more into perspective. Because I've been, I've noticed, like I'm noticing that has been a pattern for me these past few years. Where I start, I receive what I ask for. And then just things don't look the way I think they look. And then I have to go on that journey of self-introspection and and, and diving deeper into why things aren't looking the way I think they should. But it's also putting me in a position where I have to learn to surrender. I have to learn to be open to what I don't know, what I don't understand, what I'm not familiar with. Because I'll be damned if I say I know everything. I do not know everything. We do not know everything. But what we do know, we need to make sure that we're using it to the best of our abilities. And we're sharing that information. You know, um, and so, you know, it's, 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 oh, child, I'm, I'm going to have to take a breath before I continue this next chapter, but <laughs> it, it's, it's not for nothing, right? A lot of the lessons, a lot of the challenges that I, I expressed just a little bit with the 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck because of those those wands those the those manifestations of lessons and boundaries i have been able to take that knowledge and share it with individuals that are experiencing what i experienced at that time and it's helping them to thrive it's helping them to become who they need to be and so it's not for nothing it's not without cause it all has a reason. It all has a purpose. But remember, at the end of the day, you do have free will. Do you want to take the hard way to whatever you're trying to get to? You don't have to. As long as that option is there available to you, you don't have to. Don't be like me. Don't take the hard way out. <laughs> if the easy route is available and it is aligned with who you are and where you are, take it. But if you are wanting to experience lessons and get gray hairs in the process, take the hard way. By all means, do what you got to do. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed these two chapters, the lions, tigers, and bears. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Check out the cards that are showing on the screen if you want to tap more into healing behind the scenes. And I hope you were able to get something from these chapters, from this playlist that helps you get through whatever you're experiencing. Until next time.